are here to see Green Day. Green Day for the next half hour. It's a Green Day special. Green Day fans back here, right? Yeah! I know they're not Backstreet Boys fans. We're going to be having a, an interview with the band. Uh, but first, the band from Berkeley, California. Let's check out a live performance from Green Day. Yeah, All right, this is a brand new song. The song's called Nice Guys Finish Last. I like the color of your hair, actually. Well, I, I think like it was the, I like it was the color of your eyes. You got a pretty little mouth there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot, a, a lot of uh, people. Oh. Hey guys. Hey. How you doing? Good, good. to meet you. That's right. Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. It's Hi. I'm Mike. Hi. I'm Mike. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Nice pants. Thanks. Okay. Sorry. So here we are. Stole them from a golfer. Went to doctor's commercial or some shit. We're uh, we're in the uh, we're, we're in the basement of some place here. Okay. You guys are coach to prove it. Coach to prove it with lockers. It's like a high school. You guys are you guys are playing the alleyway. Yeah, and yep. school's back in session. School's back. There you go. Yeah, this this is a pretty sucks, huh? pretty brave record store, but they're not as brave as uh, some yeah. record stores. If they were really brave, they would have held it a month ago when school wasn't in session. Well, see, that's why they're that, that's why they're that's why it's gonna be outdoors, right? Yeah, because they've heard they've heard stories. Why do you feel at home in an alley? Except you can't, it's hard to smoke cigarettes and other stuff like when you're playing see, drums well, and singing. The majority of time in your life, 
that you spend going to the bathroom is a lot. And when you spend the majority of your time in your life on the road, you spend a lot of time pissing in alleyways and taking a dump and things like that. Yeah. Oh, and, so, and, you know, that's selling that's drugs, in an alleyway, you, know? <laughs> you know, pulling tricks. <laughs> I like the color of your hair, actually. Well, I, I think it was the, the, I like the, the color of your eyes. You got a pretty little mouth there. Mm -hmm. A lot, a, a lot of uh, people. Oh, a lot of people. Uh, not putting you down, but they, they talk of you guys as being like, having this young young behavior, this youthful youthful behavior, kid like in a in a, in a way. Does this? Uh, <laughs> we're already starting here. We're already starting. Does this does this bother you, or or do you think this is cool? Does this help you out? Oh, I, you know, you know. Just because, you know, I am what I am and I'm gonna stick your no, no, microphone no, that's, that's in the microwave <laughs> and turn it on. My private parts. Can't have that happen. Okay, ready? One, one second, one sec. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some, uh, <laughs> some songs on the new album, all right? Okay. Or, or, on, the, or on all the albums put together, all, all five of them. Uh, for example, the, the Grouch. You gonna do uh, some interpretive dancing? Not really, no, no. We don't do that anymore. That, just, just with the Backstreet yeah, Boys. You, and want, you guys aren't the Backstreet Boys. What do you want boys. when you give us these songs? Uh, the Grouch, Basket Case, Uptight, Reject, Brat. I want you guys to uh, comment on each other, uh, the bandmates, your bandmates, and, and then, for example, tell us about Billy Joy using, the, using these words, using these songs. Um, which which one would he be? Like, would he be like a what a would he be a burnout? Would he be a scattered? You'd would he be, be a every grouchy? single one. Of I think those. you would be a Nimrod. You wrote them all, you know. Um, I think you would be a Nimrod too, you know. Of course, you are a Nimrod. I'm, there you go. I'm sporting. He's the biggest. So he would be all of them. He would be all of them. Why? Yeah, why? Because he, he wrote all? every one of those tunes. Yeah. So, so which ones would you guys be? Besides from the Nimrod, Trey, Trey will be every one of them because we stand behind them full heartedly. Yeah, they're all, they're all our little, our spawn. Yeah. Most of the songs on this album, Nimrod, are kind of like, uh, kind of like negative. Um, no, there's yeah. some light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Which, which, which ones? Um, I, I don't know. I like, I th think uh, that they're all positive is, is to positive. me. Positive. Scatter's positive. Worry yeah. Rock. Yeah. Um, oh. it's like, all it's like re, you know, or redundant. It's like reinventing yourself, you know, in order to find that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, good riddance. Um, all the time. It's like, you know, that's positive about just wasting time, the hell with it, have fun. Yeah. Um, last right in. You know? You sing Nice guys finish last. That's a positive way of looking at, like, not giving yourself up to people that quick and keeping people at an arm's length distance. Yeah, sure, sure. You know, um, it says a lot of positivity on the record, actually. You sing, you sing about uh, leather thongs and, and G.I. Joe's wearing pan <laughs> pantyhose. Very positive. Yeah. Have you guys ever experienced this? King for you, a day. Have you done this? Uh, yeah. 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 No. And how's it feel? I've never dressed up in women's clothing. Never, never done it. No. You need oh, to try yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> you are repressed. What is it about dressing up in women's clothes that is that fascinates you? What? What is it? Is it a turn on? It turns me on to see women in women's clothes. So <laughs> yes. I figured, Same here, but the hell, why not throw them on myself and see what it did for me? And did it, you turn it, cool? it didn't work. I tried, and yeah. it didn't work. Hitchin' a Ride, the tune Hitchin' a Ride. Um, some similarities there to Stray Cats. You big Stray Cats fans? Yeah. Stray Cats. They're not as good as us, but, you know, pretty there, cool. You know, I guess. Yeah. That's, well, I know if it would be an influence, it just kind of turned out to sound the same, but, yeah. you know, it's a good tune. Yeah. What can I say? It's good, it's good to be influenced by something good than for something sure. that sucks. Or say hi to uh, Billy for us, Billy Joe. I'm not going to say Billy Joel. You no, already I'm, did. Big, I'm a big Billy Joel fan. <laughs> I already Are did. you really? You're, a big, you're not that big, though. No, um, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys go. Good talking to you. I knew it was gonna be this tough. I knew it. I had an idea. Trey Cool's wandering off uh, into the garbage over there. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Have fun up there, okay? There you go. We're gonna go have fun. Take some water with you. Take some water with you. Interesting Green Day fact. Can you give me one? Uh, I don't know. Billy Joe pees his bed. How, yeah. is, is that, <laughs> Billy Joe, how, how long have you guys been waiting for? How long have you guys been waiting for? Like, since 12, 
12 o'clock. Yeah. How about you guys? How about you guys? Why, why does Trey Cool call himself Trey Cool? Because he's Trey know. Cool. Because why? He's Trey Cool. Do you know his real name? Frank. That's Frank. Frank. That's right. That's Frank. And, and Trey Cool sounds a little better than Frank, doesn't it? No. Who knows the song? Green Day fan. Catch a One, mister, where you headed? Are you in a hurry? Need a left to happy hour stay at home. Very nice. Thanks, guys. Thanks, bud. He breaks the tips of spirits and need a break as well. Oh, well, that is every day to go. Oh, yeah. Now, let's take out a performance by a Green Day.
Marcel, hey! Check it out! Yeah.